guys this literally looks like a hospital ward gown <laughs> and i just don't know why it is that the most comfortable pajamas are just the ugliest they're just the ugliest anyways hello guys welcome back to my channel uh today we're talking skincare we're talking especially the ordinary skincare i have been getting requests for real for real not requests i've imagined but uh many of you guys have been asking me to kind of give um an initial review or reaction to the ordinary skincare products that i have most recently incorporated into my routine so i thought as i was doing my morning skincare routine this morning we could talk about it it has been two weeks so i think it'll be two weeks on saturday is that right i think so yeah because i started using these products this this one i use it once a week and i've used it twice so far so it's been two weeks because i'm gonna use it again tomorrow so these are the two ordinary products the ordinary products i got in case someone is like ordinary okay give us the name of the brand okay because <laughs> actually that happens to me all the time with the simple product I'm always like someone asks me what moisturizer do you use and I'm like I use the simple moisturizer and then they're like okay what's the name of the brand and I'm like simple and they're like okay yeah like I get that it's a simple moisturizer but what's the name and I'm like it's called simple so these ones are called the ordinary let me just get that out of the way so this is the one i have been using every day it's like a serum it's the niacinamide 10 percent plus zinc one percent it's a high strength vitamin and mineral blemish formula and then this one i have been using it once every week and i leave it on my skin for a couple of minutes this is the aha 30 percent plus bha two percent peeling solution it's a 10 minute exfoliating facial so i'm gonna give you guys my thoughts on the two products and we're gonna talk about like what they're supposed to do and we're actually gonna st uh, i'm gonna like really like have a look at my skin and we're gonna see whether they're actually doing what they're supposed to do so i first want to start off by cleansing my skin this is my simple moisturizer as in brand name simple <laughs> not moisturizer but um face wash and i do the i've talked about this before but i do the 60 second i follow the 60 second rule where you cleanse your skin gently but for 60 seconds for a minimum of 60 seconds so I think that's supposed to give the face wash a chance to actually do its job okay so um, after cleansing I went in with my acne.org benzoyl peroxide mm, my skin is looking <laughs> dry because that's exactly what the benzoyl peroxide does to your skin it completely dries it out but i don't know if you guys can see that like like things are reflecting on my forehead can you guys see that like it looks like this glass skin hmm? so i want to apply the serum and they say that you should apply your serums using your fingertips so that you don't waste product so you don't apply it like lotion and i am usually very gentle with it my lips are so dry i need some exfoliated my lips yesterday because they were so dry but even now they're still quite dry This is the Joanna K gloss. I actually find it really moisturizing on the lips. It's the clear one, Frost. 
so i'm thinking that for this particular two week review i'm really gonna focus more on the niacinamide as opposed to the aha because i've used this a lot more this i've only used twice but i'll still touch on this a little bit so for this i use it twice a day i use it in the morning and then i also use it in the in the night time and i always use it after my benzoyl peroxide i really try to like do my research which was still inconclusive because ideally you're supposed to put serums like before um more heavier products and the benzoyl peroxide is quite heavy but um yeah i ended up deciding to put to be putting the benzoyl peroxide first because i went through like a couple of blogs that were saying that um benzoyl peroxide is an exception um so going with it the first thing and then i'll go in with your serums after if you guys can hear music someone's blasting music um it's quarantine everyone is here <laughs> so um when i was trying to figure out what product i wanted from the ordinary their website i think it's decium is it well, let me see what is it actually called decium i don't know if i'm saying that right but i found it to be one of the most difficult websites i've used guys <laughs> i thought it was very difficult to use it's not user friendly um and i think it kind of assumes that you know a lot about acids and serums so i didn't find it the easiest to use but um they have this thing where you can input like your skincare concerns and what you're trying to work on and then someone emails you back with a list of um recommendations of what they think could work for you so i tried that um i got a response back after a couple of days but it wasn't helpful because they more or less just listed a ton of um acids and the serums that they have and kind of just sent what was already on the site on email so i didn't really find that too helpful to be honest so I had to do my own personal research so the skincare concerns that I'm trying to address right now is number one texture I have a lot of texture especially in this area my forehead is quite like I'm so happy thank you considering it takes up such a big part of my face the fact that it's doing well shout out to you but I have a lot of texture especially in this area in my cheek area um it's nothing crazy but it's just it doesn't my makeup just doesn't sit on it as well doesn't glide on as smoothly and that's what i wanted um i wasn't necessarily looking for something to tackle my acne because i actually don't have acne because of this product because of the benzoyl peroxide so yeah for me it was my texture especially in this area and also my hyperpigmentation because i have a little bit of hyperpigmentation i have some acne scars nothing too crazy um you guys can see my skin is actually looking quite good but um yeah i was also experiencing really like dull skin like my skin was just looking you know boring bored bored of life <laughs> it was just looking bored of life so i wanted it to just look more um vibrant so those were my skincare concerns so i actually found this um blog called adore beauty and they were breaking down what the ordinary niacinamide 10 percent plus zinc one percent does and let me share with you guys some of the things that they actually that it actually claims to do because i think that will be helpful in this review so uh i'm just gonna pick like the main things so it's supposed to reduce the appearance of skin blemishes so i think it's actually supposed to tackle hyperpigmentation and your acne scars black marks whatever it is and it also takes care of congestion um there are many other things it does but it improves skin texture and smoothness while calming any breakouts and reducing excess oils so actually many people have said that this product can actually work if you have acne because it actually takes care of breakouts i can't speak on that so much because like i said i don't have any active acne that i'm really dealing with and if i do then my benzoyl peroxide is handling it but it actually 
um can count down breakouts and when i read reviews i actually saw people who have acne using it to actually work on their acne i think you might have to get other acids acids to supplement that like taking care of your acne but um if you're someone who's dealing with texture if you're someone who's dealing with hyperpigmentation if you're someone who wants just smooth skin then it's gonna it's it's gonna help you so now to give you my own review after using this product consistently for two weeks guys imagine i see a difference and number one difference is that i had the largest pores around here and right now guys they've just been shrinking and shrinking and shrinking i kid you not like i was actually shocked because i thought i didn't think there's a product that would actually take care of my large pores they're not that large but they were there you know and especially when i put on foundation it would just like make them just even come out more i don't know why but from what i can see this product has actually like been handling my large pores but now you see the the thing is i can't tell if it's this product or if it's this product i'm not sure but yeah my pores have really shrunk guys and i'm seeing like if i continue using both these products for even another few weeks i actually won't have any more um pores here now the other thing i've noticed this product has done for me is giving me that like glass skin type of um look like especially when i've just finished um cleansing my face like light is just bouncing off my face guys i just it actually looks like i have that glass skin i kid you not and um i didn't have that before until i started using this product so that's something else i've noticed uh when it comes to texture which is actually one of the main things that i'm trying to tackle with this product it hasn't done much um i wouldn't say or let's say so far it hasn't done much i can feel my skin being a little bit smoother yes but not like it's not all the way there it's definitely not all the way there but it's okay because it's just been two weeks um but uh, i think this what this review is meant to do to give you my initial thoughts is just to say that so far i'm actually seeing a difference using this product um mainly the pores but even the texture i can feel it going down a little like my skin is getting a lot smoother um day by day so i'm really really happy about that so obviously i'm gonna be able to give you guys a more in-depth review after even like six weeks of having used the product but so far imagine i would say if you're tackling with some of the things i'm dealing with especially pores me i think I don't know you should look into it a bit more because i'm actually quite shook that my pores are becoming non-existent i'm shook and that wasn't even like one of the things i wanted to really tackle um for me it was just the texture the hyperpigmentation and the acne scars and so far mm, uh, mm, it's just there it's just there um it's not really like reduced the appearance of my blemishes um not really i wouldn't say it's done that yet i wouldn't say it's done that yet but also why am i forgetting to say this and i just said my skin was looking bored my skin just woke up guys it has been looking so vibrant it has been looking just it's been looking juicy um like my skin tone it's just looking very vibrant and just very alive i don't know if you guys can see what i mean but it just looks alive it just looks alive so now you see the thing is i can't tell what product is doing what i can't tell if it's this one or i can't and i can't tell if it's this one but let me read for you some of the things that this one does because it could actually be what has um tackled some of these things that i'm telling i'm telling you it's, it's this one okay guys so um i had i told you guys uh, my skin concerns and um this particular product actually more or less also deals with the skin concerns i have which is why i'm not able to tell which of these two is actually tackling my skin issues because for this aha bha peeling solution um, let me tell you guys what it does just now so um the product promises to clean out congested pores so that can actually be really good um if you're suffering from acne 
uh deeply exfoliate to fight visible blemishes and fine lines once again what i'm trying to tackle and improve skin texture again what i'm trying to tackle so i really think that the two of them are just a winning formula for the skin issues that um that i have so the plan is to keep using them okay obviously um the thing is that i've already i've used not i've already i've used very little and this is after two weeks of use so you need so little this one i've used it twice and i've barely like made a dent so i think they're very affordable products and based on my um me using them for these few days these past two weeks then for sure me i'm telling you i'm already seeing a um a difference it's not drastic but i'm seeing a difference just that my in the appearance of my skin oh and i think also this particular product deals with um that look that boring look of your skin right when your skin is just looking dead it brightens up the skin evens up evens out the skin tone so up to where i've reached right now i would definitely recommend that you try it's just that the advice i'm gonna give you is that you need to really do your research because the website is quite you have to sit down for quite a minute you have to be able to know what skin issues you have like is it acne um that you're trying to like work on is it blemish like what is it you have to definitely know your skin issues then you really really like have to get into it and do your research but more than that is that you have to get the product and actually try because some of these things imagine you'll just never know until you try so yeah uh, i've applied my moisturizer i am applying my sunscreen the other day um my mom was asking why you had any sunscreen and you're literally in the house the whole day you never leave and i was like the rays are still coming in from the window you know and she just couldn't understand and i was like check back in when i am in my 50s and i'm looking like i'm 30 okay mom okay <laughs> so I think I've already mentioned that this is the sunscreen I've been using. Never gonna use another sunscreen again. You guys can see the glow that it's given me. So I think that's it for this video. Um, I didn't focus too much on this product, but I think I just want to keep using it. You see, at least this one I've used it a lot, but this one I've only used it twice. So when I hit the six week mark, I'm gonna do an another video, another review. This time I'll probably do a nighttime skincare routine as I show you guys and give you a review of this product and an update on this one. So that's gonna come in a, um, like three weeks because in three weeks I'll have hit the six week mark but for now um so far so amazing so far so amazing um yeah i'm also looking into the products they have that tackle dryness because the benzoyl peroxide tends to make my skin really really dry so i'm looking for, i think they have the hyal hyaluronic is that how you say it hyaluronic i don't know but uh yeah i think they have the hyal hyaluronic please if i'm saying it wrong just please um so yeah i'm definitely looking for something that is gonna like give my skin like make my skin more less dry eh, 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 that english no <laughs> that is gonna work on my dry skin because the benzoyl peroxide really does a number on um your skin i already had dry skin now add the benzoyl peroxide and it's just really really dry so um that's something i'm looking to add to my routine but that's probably like after i've used this for a couple more weeks so thank you guys so much for watching anyone using any acids or any product from the ordinary please comment down below uh, i would actually recommend these if you have um if you're someone who struggled with acne um or is even still struggling with acne because i've seen reviews of people saying they have acne and these products have actually tackled that especially this one and then now when you combine with this one now for the blemishes and the hyperpigmentation you could actually end up um tackling your acne so i would actually recommend that if you have acne take a look at the products online because um 
they could they could help and also if you're already dealing with your acne like with other things maybe you're taking medication maybe you're on accutane maybe you're using benzoyl peroxide like me then there would be a really great addition now just to like improve how your skin looks because the truth is acne leaves a lot behind you know scars hyperpigmentation so we're all looking for products to be able to um, that will help us deal with those things. So check them out guys. This is not sponsored um, I don't even think they sponsor anyone from what I saw online so Yeah, and I'll always put this disclaimer this these are my own personal reviews and Don't go and buy a product without also doing your own research into it uh read reviews everyone has different skin so read reviews do a deep dive into the product you want to buy before actually committing and deciding to buy it i'm gonna love you guys and leave you so that i can go do a bunch of nothing <laughs> So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Drop your review if you've used any of these products or any other products from the range. I'm also looking to expand and I'm gonna see you in my next video. 